Hi, Tracy here, also known as Mercy Tiara, with another episode of Find Your Mojo. Each episode, I'll give you a prompt or a challenge to get your creative juices flowing and get you scrapping and documenting your memories. This time, the prompt is to start with a photo collage. So let's get started. I'm starting with these four photos that I have printed at home with my Epsom Picture Mate charm. And uh, they are at two different orientations to our landscape and to our portrait. And the one with the boxes, I'm not in love with that one. It just shows how big and how many boxes were delivered to our home. And this is actually a story that just happened yesterday. I'm scrapping it today. I am a person who loves to scrapbook immediately after something. So uh, this is what I'm doing in this particular case. And so uh, this this cut apart caught my eye right away because it says messy bun and getting stuff done. And one of the photos really highlights my daughter's messy bun that she was wearing that day. And so I thought that that was really relevant because she's doing housework and she has a messy bun. So you can't get much better than that. I love this collection from Simple Stories. It has all these uh, beautiful icons uh, relating to home and housework and chores. And I really like that some of them are positive and some of them are negative. So some of them say things like ain't got no time for that and not going to happen and that sort of thing. But others are more focused on the positive aspects of doing housework. So I really like that no matter what your story is regarding housework. Mine is usually a negative one, but today it happens to be a positive one. There is something in this collection to help you tell that story. So yes, I'm not a huge fan of housework. And I, to be honest, I don't do a whole lot of housework. Uh, but we spent the entire day yesterday uh, cleaning and tidying and putting together furniture and changing around some rooms. And so that's what this layout is going to be about. So I started off like this. And I I, I guess I, I kind of wonder how the layout would have gone if I kept up with this. But um, so you see, I have the, the picture with the boxes, which I said I don't care so much about. That's the one that is covered the most. And it's kind of holding together all of the other photos. And uh, I'm using this other cut apart that says, uh, what does it say? It says house plus love equals home. And I'm using it kind of as another element on the collage. So because of that, I want to frame it out with a piece of white paper, because all of my photos have a little white border around them. So that will help that. And I just had some mixed media from the last time I scrapbooked was left on the on the mat. So I just had to clean it up with a baby wipe. Now I'm going to trim that down with my creative memories trimmer love that little trimmer. It's great for cutting little tiny things. So uh, I'm going to trim that down so that it matches with the with the photos that are already on the page. It matches a little bit. I mean, obviously, it's not a photo, but it does kind of tie it together a little bit. And I think that this is a nice little collage. It's pretty balanced. But the uh, as I'm deciding, I'm going to try out, I'm going to audition a couple of different backgrounds here. I really like that yellow one. The My only problem with the yellow one is that there's so much yellow tones in the photos that I thought that it might be a little overboard on the yellow tones. So the pink one really does give a nice balance with uh, the yellow tones that are in the photo. Now, as I mentioned, I was a little hesitant about the way that was because all of those gaps between the photos really, um, I thought that that would pose some trouble for me in terms of trying to what I want to do is is have the structure of the collage give me the freedom to be really messy and whimsical with the with the uh, with the decorating, and I thought that and embellishing, and I thought that with the photos all spread apart like that, it, I might just lose it all. Like it might just all come across as very very messy, and that's not what I want. Although I do want to emphasize the messiness, and I am going to use messy design elements in order to support my story of the fact that our house was really messy as we were uh, doing this job. And so here I am, I'm flirting with the idea of going back to the yellow paper. I really like how the yellow paper looks, but I think that the that the pink is going to give me, uh, there I go, last minute change. <laughs> I think the pink is gonna give me better contrast with the photos and I'm just gonna like that a little bit better. I, my hesitation to use the pink is that I kind of feel like I use a lot of pink, so I thought this might be a chance for me to use some non-pink, but 
I don't know, it didn't make sense to just use yellow for the sake of using yellow. So now I'm going to take my, uh, especially if pink looks better. So I'm going to take my photo collage and stick the whole thing down to this piece of black cardstock from my stash. And I thought about trimming it out with my trimmer, but that's just going to be really hard. So I put my trimmer away and I'm just going to trim it out by hand. I'm going to leave a very small border of black around the outside edges of this entire collage and what that does is it pulls together the entire collage and also makes it a lot more uh, more noticeable I guess that that home house plus love equals home embellishment is is kind of part of the collage so it kind of pulls it all together and brings in the element that looks different from the others and it also defines the the shape of this project and the the whole page is really going to uh kind of stem from that shape so i'm going to everything i do is going to come from that shape so that cut apart that I liked so much with the phrase, I just cut the phrase apart and I'm going to glue it to the edge of the photo that really does show my daughter's bun quite in, quite nicely. And I thought that that yellow house looked really nice next to house plus love equals home. I'm using my Stampin' Up! glue pen to glue these, uh, these phrases to the side of this photo. I want them to hang out onto the background because I do want this to be messy and I want the messiness of the embellishing to contrast against the structure and order of the collage that's very boxy and uh, predictable. Uh, I like this yellow chipboard house, but I'm a little hesitant to use it just because my own house is green and there is a greenish house that I'm going to play around with the idea of using. It doesn't have to be the same color as my house, obviously, uh, but I, I kind of like the idea of it being the same color as my house. So I'm going to play with that idea for a few minutes. But first, I cut out this label from the cut apart cards. And I, I really love the Simple Stories collection because they come with so many cut aparts that you can play around with. So there's that green house. And I thought about making maybe a little cluster of houses over here. And then I, I wasn't really loving that. I, and so I, I decided instead what I would do is take my three chipboard houses, one of which is the color of my own home, and spread them around my page. And the pink one is way up at the top and you'll see it in a second. I'm going to zoom out for you. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll just tell you that it's up in the top corner there. Not in the top corner, kind of top center. There you go. And so that becomes my three places where I will put some embellishments. So the green house and a little bit above and a little bit below it and then the pink house and then the yellow house will be my three spots and those spots are create a visual triangle around the around the page and enclose my photos as well as my title so my journaling here I have quite a bit of journaling to put on this little label so I'm using tiny tiny print and I'm saying uh, to say it was a busy day is an understatement we did the multi bed shuffle today colon disassemble move reassemble times two semicolon and then unbox assemble times one Liv got a new bed Soph got Liv's bunk bed and a guest room was born feels good to get things done and this is an approximation of my Facebook post and that's why I had my phone out because I was just checking it there uh, to make sure that I got it right so I put that all on the label and then I'm going to underline my writing because I just really like the look of that. I think it gives your writing, my writing anyways, a little bit more structure and feels like the writing belongs on the label when it's underlined. I outlined the little heart to give it a little bit more emphasis and to hold up against all the black that's on the text on that label. I went ahead and glued the 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 broom piece of chipboard to the layout so that it, it the the stick of the broom the handle of the broom uh, underlaps the uh, phrases that I cut out and I really like how that looks I, I like the whimsy of that I'm going to stick the greenhouse to the top of the of the label and then I'm going to 
try to get this vacuum cleaner in place so that it doesn't cover any of my important text. I couldn't get it right, so I thought I'll try again. I haven't given up entirely on that idea, but I was just kind of tired of finicking with it. And I do this when I'm when I'm designing a page. If if something isn't isn't going right, I'll just put it aside for a while and do something that's easier or that I already have decided upon, and then I'll come back to the thing that was uh, troublesome. So I knew I wanted those three houses in those three corners, so I went ahead and put that there. And now, for some reason, the vacuum cleaner is behaving properly <laughs> and going right where I want it to go, so that's good. And now I have this speech bubble, and it says the struggle is real, and I want it up here by the house. Uh, by the pink house. <laughs> the house doesn't tell you much because I've got three houses on here. So uh, the speech bubble is actually pointing the wrong way. So I cut the little speech bubble off. And sometimes what I do is I'll cut it off and then I'll reassemble it in a different place so that it's pointing the right way. But I actually kind of like it without, without the speech bubble little triangle part all together. So now it's just a circle. And I'm going to stick this little hanger, coat hanger in here and a, br a dustpan right there and I purposely stuck those so that they're just jutting out and look very messy and disorganized because that kind of fits with the theme of this page and I I felt like there just wasn't enough pattern on this uh, on this particular page and I really really love this floral pattern with the turquoise background and the green and yellow on it and I think there's a couple hits of pink I can't remember but I really love this pattern there's a pattern paper in the in the kit that looks like this in the collection but this is a scalloped border sticker and so I just grabbed the scalloped border sticker and I cut it into three parts I might have cut it into four one two three three parts. <laughs> uh, and I'm outlining it just to give it a little bit just to uh, and I was going to stitch across the top and then I changed my mind. I'm just going to straight outline it. Uh, and that just gives it a little bit of definition against the other things that it's placed upon. And I really like that. I put that in each of those three clusters as well, just to bring a little bit more pattern and femininity into it. There was already that pattern already existed on the on the vacuum cleaner, but that just brings it a little bit more, especially since I love that pattern so much. I'm going to layer the potted plant up there and the alarm clock behind the house. The alarm clock says ain't nobody got time for that, and I'm going to change that. Sorry that I didn't zoom out here. I'm putting a little potted plant at first, I was putting a little potted plant in each of my three uh, of my three embellishments. Now, what I'm doing here is there's space between the potted plant and the little patterned sticker, scalloped sticker, and uh, I I use the heart there to span that space, and I don't like it. So, see the little gap between the potted plants and the scalloped sticker? That's what's causing me grief, and that's what I want to just cover up with something, but the heart is not the right thing. I put two layered potted plants on this one cluster instead of having a potted plant in each one. You don't have to repeat every single thing in your cluster. So I, I chose a few word stickers that came in the sticker set with this collection and just had them span the space between the potted plants and the sticker. I also covered up that phrase that I didn't care for so much with a little coffee cup. And to me, that says, time for coffee. Uh, then this phrase up here says, uh, life is short, laundry is forever. And I just cut it so that it would look the way that I wanted it to look. It was a little too long there. And I stuck the little laundry detergent. It's a, it's a chipboard sticker from the, from the collection. I stuck that on top of the laundry basket. I think that looks really adorable on top of the laundry basket. And it also makes it clear that that is a laundry basket because it wasn't 100% clear before. This one says, home sweet home. And I like that that phrase sticker a lot. And I'm just sticking a whole bunch of phrase stickers everywhere that it makes sense to stick them. <laughs> this one says, I put the mess in domestic. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to cover up that heart that the vacuum was covering. I just uh, added a second heart that's almost exactly the same. I'm going to outline the heart on the coffee cup just to give it a little bit more definition and stick it down to the alarm clock to cover the phrase that I didn't like so much. 
And then I'm sticking more of those phrase stickers. One of them says work, work, work. One of them says getting stuff done. This one says don't forget with a little, little string to tie around your finger. And I put that right next to the picture that includes Olivia's little list that she had. She had a list that she was following of all the things she wanted to do in her room that day. And so I thought that that don't forget was appropriate to put right there. I'm putting a couple of these phrase stickers in each of my clusters. This one says our home and then another one says uh, where's the maid. And I'm just looking for some final touches and I felt like this page has a whole lot of chipboard and paper and not much else. So I grabbed the brads that, that uh, go with this collection. And again, I'm sorry that I didn't zoom out. I'll zoom out in a second. I'm pretty sure I remembered or I moved my paper or something. I'm just placing two brads in each of these clusters. Again, this repetition helps pull the page together, especially where it, this page has so much purposeful messiness going on. I want not only the structure of the collage to give me some order to this page, but also repetition will give me some nice order to this page. So having uh, some elements like a house in each corner, a bit of the pattern scallop in each corner, having phrase stickers in each corner, and then having the brads in each corner really helps pull the, the whole page together and not look so much like just a big random messy bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm doing something different. I've never done this before but it just occurred to me that I could just put little dots on the page where I planned for the for the brads to go and then I don't have to worry about them shifting around as I put them on. And then I just poke the holes where I had put, put the little dots with my marker. And I really don't like that yellow brad overlapping with the blue with the blue circle. So I keep moving it over and over. I don't want to move it over too much because I don't want to see the hole that I po poked the first time. But I just scooched it over a little bit so that it wasn't overlapping anymore with the blue sticker. And... All the rest of my brad placements will go okay. I won't have to move any more of them around. And I just have a little piece of foam. Just It's black foam that used to, uh, brads used to come in it. Basic gray brads in particular used to come with that foam in the packaging. And I just have a paper piercer that I just pierce into. Now I'm doing a little bit of a different kind of outlining here today. I have five little dots and then I'm outlining around the five like basically I'm, I'm drawing five little dots that interrupt my outlining and I'm outlining around the page just to give it a little bit more structure and definition and the placement of these five dots is dependent upon the clusters on the page so I'm making it so that each of my lined edges has five of the dots and the dots are somewhere close to the cluster that is the closest. So even though there are three clusters I managed to get four because there's four sides on the page <laughs> uh, I managed to get four clusters of the little polka dots. And now again to add to the messy feeling it just wasn't feeling messy enough and so to add to the messy feeling I'm doing some messy outlining right around the structure of not the whole thing but just the structure of the original uh, collage that I had created there. So I'm <laughs> I'm toying with the idea you saw me almost outline that that sticker there and I'm toying with the idea of outlining some of the phrase stickers now my tip for you is that when you outline on a sticker it's a good idea to use a slick surface pen and so here I am doing it I changed my mind and decided to go ahead and outline some of them I just felt like some of them needed more definition especially this one that sticks out over on the right side that says cleaned it seemed a little floaty to me so I outlined it to make it just seem more like it belongs the floaty ones in particular uh, there we go so now you get to see the close-ups of these but I'm not done yet I thought I was done 
Um, but see, I, I felt like the Bless This Mess, which is sort of the title, I wasn't sure if Bless This Mess was going to be the title or House Plus Love Equals Home, but I think Bless This Mess makes the most sense. But it, it felt kind of separate from the rest of this cluster, and it seemed like that polka dotted white white with black polka dotted paper was a little bit of trapped white space even though there's a pattern on it I just felt like it needed something there and it needed something to kind of accentuate the messiness so I thought about positioning those clips so that they looked like they were kind of clipped onto the house plus love equals home and then extended on to the bless this mess but at the last minute I decided to just make it look like they just fell there uh, and uh, so I just made sure that they weren't too parallel and I wanted one to be touching bless this mess and I wanted one to be touching the circular phrase that says house plus love equals home. So this is how this page turned out. I'm really pleased with it. It was a lot of fun to do and I really like how the design of the page helps to tell the story of how messy the day was and how, how scattered our, uh, our chores were on that particular day. One thing that I really like is how the laundry embellishments are kind of clustered and they're the the chores are kind of clustered around the page too we've got laundry there and here we've got kind of coffee and shopping uh and then in the other side and house plants and then in the other side we have just kind of like vacuuming and sweeping and that sort of thing so uh i really like how the the design told part of the story which wasn't entirely intentional but i guess it was a little intentional so i hope that you guys found this page helpful and this process helpful i hope that you try to jumpstart your mojo this month by using a collage of your photos and then see where it takes you thanks for so much for watching and have a really great scrappy week